Welcome to our program Weekly News. As we know that our program is resuming all the news that during all the week. Uh, uh, weekly news today is coming from uh, Ankara Natural TV. Like that we will see a lot of details uh, with Islam. Thank you so much. So uh, let's continue uh, our news today actually uh, with you Islam. I'm so uh, happy to discuss this title actually. It's uh, increasing uh, number for 47 get heavy life in military academy in uh, this case actually. Do you have some details or when we talk about number and something like that we focus on the statistic actually. Do you have some details about it? Um, thank you, Ms. H. Aisha, uh, to give me this opportunity to really prestige this program to talk on this uh, uh, weekly news analysis program. Yeah, you asked me about this uh, uh, happy life in military uh, academy case. You know, this uh, in Turkey they face a very big problem in uh, 2015, uh, like uh, I mean 2016, um, the military coup against the gov civilian government, um, 15 July. The, and in that case, you know, this uh, 200, more than 200 people uh, d uh, killed by the military, I mean, in the street, and also more than 2,000 people, uh, they were injured by the attack. So, uh, after this issue, you know, there's the so many uh, soldiers, especially military, um, there were security personnel from Turkey who were involved with the military coup against the civilian government. They were arrested, and uh, uh, the judiciary, there is, uh, now investigating those kind of cases who, who did this kind of incident in that time may of military coup so out of this uh, incident or out of this investigation so many people were arrested and you know this 47 people there are uh, now we got the uh, so um, the case, uh, I mean the solution, or, or we got the um, uh, result from the uh, uh, court <coughs> of um, Turkey. They said, I mean the judges, they announced the cases, uh, the results. They said the 47 people, they will get the life imprisonment in, uh, in, the, in the jail. Even out of them, you know, 90 people, they will get uh, this, cap, I mean uh, the imprisonment. Even the other people, they will also get the, some heavy punishment. So uh, this kind of is, is, is still process. I mean, you know, this there are also a lot of people. They are going to get this kind of uh, res, uh, result of what they did in the time of military coup. So this is like the uh, like the process. This is the process. That's what what shows the Turkey uh, Turkish um, judiciary system, and it also shows like the the time in 2016 how the military coup happened and the what is going on now through the in a just in a, in a judiciary system through uh, for justice and for the the people what they did and the soldiers or the military personnel what they did in the time of coup. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So Islam, as we knowing, uh, everybody know that uh, recently uh, Turkey is suffering from uh, economic crisis and uh, especially with the bank and a lot of economic crisis actually. So do you think that uh, it can, uh, it has a plan for past this, uh, this problem actually? Yeah, of course, like uh, for any country in the world, if they are for, uh, fall in a crisis, uh, whatever it is, economic, political, or social, or cultural crisis, of course, they are taking so many initiatives, and Turkey is not exceptional in this case, you know. Turkey is taking uh, so many initiatives to tackle their economic crisis. Even, um, you know, uh, Turkey is uh, trying to resolve their problem. If you see their news, there's Turkey, they are taking so many improvements, I mean, like, um, to build up their economic and to reform their their economic system even on some, uh, in some ex uh, area uh, for example like uh, if you see this the Anadolu post uh, news it is said the Turkish uh, economic confidence is now is ongoing process I mean the uh, level is rising even the, f uh, the fact you know if we see the last uh, uh, two weeks ago news uh, it mm -hmm. said the Turkish uh, international investment they are trying to uh, increase their investment policy for their banking system even they are taking the money which I mean liquid money from the people to in to increase their 
uh, reservation and you know if the reservation is increasing automatically the economic especially the 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 value Involved of the lira the economy, yeah yes. the value of the lira will increase so th this is the issue and there is also the other issue the turkish um, economy or economic ministry are taking to resolve their crisis even uh, the last month what the turkish uh, uh, um, uh, turkish level was very low but now this in june it's almost increasing that's what another lupest is said the almost increased 7.6 percent mm -hmm. even like uh, uh, the the average the indexed risk is almost three yes. point four percent so it shows like turkish economy it's a day by day is gradually increasing yeah yes. of course the turkey is facing the so much ups and down economic crisis <coughs> system uh, in one in one day it's increasing but the other day it's uh, decreasing so the crisis is ongoing but also they are taking so many initiatives to tackle to tackle this problem and yes. to tackle this uh, year of crisis and uh, i feel i believe like it, it, turkey can find or turkey will find uh, some mm. possible solution to resolve their economic crisis right. actually uh, th especially when for example make a link between this uh, this title and the next title when you talk for example about economic and touristic i think that uh, touristic uh, plan it can bring some money to and involve uh, this crisis actually yeah of course of course uh, you are absolutely yes. right because turkey uh, they are taking now, you know, like two or three years ago, the Turkish mm. um, uh, security system, especially inside the security, mm. uh, the before the military coup and after the military coup, the political turmoil or mm. the uh, some instability makes Turkey some uh, to fall in this kind of economic crisis. But uh, nowadays we see that Turkey uh, day by day or gradually try to resolve this problem, resolve this kind of crisis. Mm -hmm. So when the Turkish uh, inside security system or inside political system is going to be oil and organized and more stable then automatically you know so many tourists will come because as we know the Turkey is the one of the best country in the world for tourist destination uh, for example Turkey have a, a Istanbul Turkey have uh, uh, Antalya Izmir uh, and so many ancient architecture and touristic place so uh, automatically the tourists they want to come in a country where the security is, or security measurement are perfect so now Turkey is taking that kind of initiatives uh, and Turkey is trying to make a more stable country, more stable security country and in that way more uh, tourists will come and yeah what you said uh, already uh, it will uh, of course it will include and it will increase the value of Turkish uh, economy and it of course uh, the result of the crisis what Turkey is facing for their economy. Yeah. Thank you so uh, much. Welcome. Okay, Islam, I think uh, by this title, like we can see, like summer is coming. We are in June now, so I think it's uh, like a season for touristic, uh, for uh, bringing the tourists in Turkey. Turkey, it's a uh, good place, it's a beautiful country actually. So I think we have been recording 11%. From foreigner they will uh, visit uh, Turkey uh, this summer so do you think that this uh, percentage it's so high and it's bring a lot of benefits yeah of course uh, 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 as we said recently the Turkish mm -hmm. uh, is uh, one of the best place uh, in the world uh, for a touristic area mm -hmm. I mean like uh, as I said before even if you see the pi picture is uh, uh, if I'm not wrong from uh, maybe it's from mm -hmm. Iz Izmir or Antalya uh, you know the Turkey they have everything you know if you want to go to the mountain you will find a uh, mountain areas in Turkey if you want to go to the land of the moon you will find uh, like a uh, um, Kafatokia in Turkey if you want to go to the ancient and uh, like historical places you, ha you will you can find in like Istanbul or Şanlıurfa or uh, those kind of places if you want to go to the CBH or like those kind of I mean uh, the vacation area you will find Antalya Izmir so it means like Turkey is a multi touristic places you know, it's not, if uh, if anyone want to come or one country to get the more you know how I can say like their feelings and their uh, vacation uh, spend out in a perfect places I think mm -hmm. Turkey will be that place for yes. the, for any tourist and uh, yeah of course as you asked me that the Turkish tourist you know in la last year uh, like the Turkish tourist uh, came almost I mean till this May what's the Turkish uh, uh, Turkish state I mean Turkish statistic organization they said it was almost 11 million 
now it's almost 12 million it shows that 1 million people more came to the turkey for touristic wow. purposes so it's increasing as i saw as i to told you before like you know turkey is going to be more stable especially from security concern you know once upon a time for example to four years ago or five years ago people uh, shows like a, there yeah. is a, some problems especially instability like bombing or those kind of stuff happened in turkey um, that makes it for tourists a little bit afraid to come in turkey but now the situation is totally changed now the turkey is uh, you know security is more stable now turkey is very much giving priority for their touristic places and they are giving so much uh, like caring for security concern and for this reason tourists are thinking okay we can go to the turkey for touristic purposes we can go to the places of uh, the beautiful places in turkey and that's what we see this the almost 12.5 million people or 8 million people came the till the may of this year thank you thank you so much you're welcome So uh, now, Islam, we're going to focus uh, on this title. Actually, it's so uh, so interested for us, like security forces NAB 7 top Tash terrorists. So in this case, actually, I'd like to ask you how how is how uh, is your vision or how could you treat this uh, case? Actually, I'm talking about terrorists in the whole world, but link it to this title. Do you have some details about it? What do you think about it? How is your vision about uh, Daesh terrorists? Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Aisha. Uh, I just want to uh, mm -hmm. uh, explain something about the Daesh, you know, as we talk uh, the, the, uh, before even also. The, um, the Daesh, uh, they are terrorist organization, one of the most uh, terrible terrorist organization in the world, uh, uh, who are raising or who I mean, demanded Khilafa or come. I mean, there's some mm -hmm. places in Syria and uh, Iraq. That's what they said, according to the uh, mostly um, academic and also the newspaper, the ISIS or like ISIL, the mm -hmm. Islamic State uh, or um, whatever that. But in Turkey, they said it, they introduced them as a Daesh rather than in, as a because they are using Islam to back up their terrorist activities. How, whatever you know, this uh, this terrorist organization, um, the whole world, whatever there or anybody have a touch with this organization, uh, the specific government they are give, taking initiatives against this kind of organiz or terror organization. And Turkey is not exceptional on this issue. Uh, if you see this in news, the Turkish security forces they almost arrested seven top Daesh terrorists because you know this the, the, some people and you should understand it. The Turkey is one of the more uh, most uh, you know the uh, attacked by this terrorist organization Daesh. Almost 300 people killed, uh, civilian people mm -hmm. killed or die, uh, murdered by this terrorist organization. And they you know they used to do suicide bombing and the gun attacks in Turkey. Even if you see this in Istanbul uh, airport, uh, like Istanbul airport attack in um, even also the some areas attack was happening and demand and um, uh, attacked by Daesh I mean this terror organization so Turkey is always taking those initiatives even if you link up like our first um, the previous news the tourist for tourists mm -hmm. are coming in Turkey and for this reason even Turkey is taking care so many for the security concern and they are not giving any single opportunity to the this kind of terrorist organization whatever it is Daesh or mm -hmm. PKK PKK, I mean PKK, PKK. Mm -hmm. so they are always taking zero, zero tolerance for this kind of terror organization yes. for their own security because yes. it is matter of their national security mm -hmm. and uh, as we see this that they are uh, arresting the top leaders or top uh, person of the Daesh mm -hmm were coming from maybe from Syria or maybe from Iraq. Yes, it doesn't thank matter, yeah. Thank, thank you so much. Welcome. Actually, among uh, among the po b biggest event and biggest uh, polemic that uh, we have uh, we have been recording during uh, all this week is two attacks. It's like two bomb. They are not next to each other in Tunis. So, what's your uh, vision and uh, what's your opinion about this uh, kind of attacks actually? Do you think, actually, sorry, do you think that terrorists it's affect this one? It's caused by this one? Uh, if I'm not wrong, I just want to uh, uh, add something, you know, before going to this attack. You know, in Tunisia, uh, uh, the, even, uh, the Tunisian regime changed uh, after the Ben Ali government, I mean, regime. 
Oh, Actually, after was, the revolution, uh, revolution, we can say yes. that, that uh, that's what you said, the Arab Spring. Yeah. After the Arab Spring, the Tunisia, they are seeing, especially the Tunisian people, they are seeing the more freedom, more secure Tunisia. They feel mm. like okay, they will get more stable, more mm. welfare country, more welfare economy, more welfare or more stable politics, mm -hmm. and uh, socio culture will be more developed than their previous regime. But yes. the fact what we are seeing now, there is a two bombing attack in there, and some uh, you know mm, some areas I say try to say yes. this in some uh, Salafist uh, or is a group yes. uh, they may have a link with this bombing attack mm -hmm. if we see you know the Tunisia they are coming I mean next election in very yes. near story so do this kind of the, uh, attack it shows like um, maybe they have a uh, some match message to the people or maybe there is uh, some uh, issue behind this attack to, uh, to message to the people or to message to the general people to make or to make fear them um, about uh, some uh, those kind of Islamist group or uh, a terror group uh, even also that the, the, the uh, small transition of the, the democracy and uh, if you see when the, the, the bomb, one bombing was attacked and happened in uh, in front of the uh, French embassy yes. I mean the near to the city center and also another was ha uh, happened to uh, almost the yes. whole area was the military but actually zone. yes but actually the attacks I think it destinated for the policeman too because yes, they, exactly. They, 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 try they, they try to be, kill actually to police. Be, yes. They try to yes. kill actually police. Even mm -hmm. yeah, whatever, just the all general people, civilian died. I mean, two all two people almost died. Yes. Even or uh, more it's than. Like, um, uh, it's like a symbolic action. It's like when I'm uh, yes. when I uh, try to destinate uh, the policeman. It's like I. Uh, it's like um, I try to touch the symbol of the government. Exactly, mm. exactly. They try to show that they have a power to attack the security forces mm. of the of a Tunisian government or Tunisian yes. country. Yes. And so, uh, you know, this if any terror organization they can kill any security person of any country, it automatically shows to the people and uh, like, okay, the government is failed. I mean, they uh, they don't have a capacity to control. Uh, they cannot make the, the secure yes. more secure it's our not country. Power enough. Yes. Yeah. So maybe this terror. Well, whoever did this because till now nobody said like they did it yeah. and whoever did it they just they have a target to make actually appear to the people and also to the government like they mm -hmm. try to show to the people like the government's capacity of security is very low we can ha we can attack in any or whenever we want yes so we hope that uh, Tunisian yeah. government uh, make a second plan and power plan of course, for, of course. I for think protect they have, their they government have, they actually they are taking so much yes. str strong yes. initiatives to empower the system for yeah. defense yes thank you so yeah, much you're welcome Okay, Islam, uh, by this picture we see like uh, uh, the president Joko Widodo wins uh, the election. So how is going uh, the atmosphere of election there in Jakarta? Uh -huh, yeah, you know, this the Indonesia, uh, they uh, um, started their election for, uh, since uh, April uh, 2019. Mm -hmm. And now they announced that uh, Joko, uh, this Uidobo, I mean, the, um, he mm -hmm. elected uh, in the election mm -hmm. and um, and he got almost 55.5 percent vote in the, in the election. And you know, this the, he was the even also previous president uh, in uh, in Indonesia. And um, I hope so, like that he will do more, much more welfare activities for Indonesian mm -hmm. and uh, make some more good atmosphere for Indonesian political stability. Thank you so much. Actually, by uh, this title, Islam, I'd like to ask you, on what basis this visit it actually it bases on? Yani, for example, when uh, when we make some visit or meeting like that between Ramallah and uh, the president of uh, Chile, so it bases on what actually? Uh, you, you see that the, the Chilean president uh, he went to the uh, Ramallah Palestine mm -hmm. to meet with the Mahmoud Abbas uh, to talk on the uh, Palestine issue. Actually, but uh, uh, two. Uh, understand the situation uh, to understand this kind of scenario or political or international political c scenario we have to understand the, the diplomatic role like why it is important you know this um, like the Chilean pre president uh, not even also only 
Chilean uh, Chile president in South America like you know mm -hmm. uh, Venezuela or like Cuba they're always uh, talking about uh, freedom or independence of uh, Palestine mm -hmm. and uh, or they are talking about the injustice what is or oppression what is the doing by Israel so those kind of uh, the diplomatic or like the, the top level of uh, any country's uh, statement or statement busy to the Palestine or Ramallah it's very important for Palestine even this uh, in this situation or in this time it is much more important it gives so much importance for Palestinian mm -hmm. independence mm -hmm. because you know he went to the, uh, the Ramallah and meet with the Mahmoud Abbas it shows like they are supporting they have a soft corner they are supporting to the Palestine and they are ignoring Israel so those kind of issues yeah they have a really political objectives they have a political goals rather than yes. what we are seeing this only diplomatic uh, uh, just trouble. only diplomatic or we can include in some planes for social uh, side or economic yeah, of side course, of course they have a like because they infect target. each yeah. other you know uh, yeah of course they will mm -hmm. they have a target to make some economic relations to make mm -hmm. some business or trade but you know mm -hmm. in case of palestine the issue is not easy like to talk on like to make economy to make a social culture it's not that much easy rather if any poly uh, prime minister or like those kind of top level leader of any countries or top level administration uh, administrates of any country went to uh, Palestine it means they try to support the political support what actually Palestine need need in the time they are getting political support by this you know uh, this kind of visit by the top level of statesmen so this kind of issue i can rather mm -hmm. say i can uh, ensure this this kind of e trouble it gives much more importance for uh, political importance rather yes. than you know economy and socio-cultural yes. facts okay thank you yes, so much welcome. So, Islam, uh, during uh, all this week, uh, we have seen actually the new details about uh, the reports of uh, the murder of Khashoggi. Do you have some uh, these new details actually? Yeah, the new details again to talk on, on the journalist uh, Jamal mm -hmm. Khashoggi's murder. Uh, um, I just want to mention, you know, that Jamal Khashoggi he was died. Uh, he was murdered actually last year mm -hmm. in uh, Saudi embassy and uh, in Turkey. <coughs> in Turkey, yes. you know, in Saudi uh, consulate in Istanbul. So, uh, or like it gives a huge um, importance and huge, um, how I can say, like the whole world talk about this issue, like how he was died. And even, you know, this, the Turkish security forces, they provided the um, available and the, the, how I can say, so many evidence that yeah, it shows like uh, there is a very top level of Saudi administrators, uh, they are involved, they were involved with this murder um, of Jamal Khashoggi. And now United Nations, uh, United Nations, they announced the same things, United Nations officials, I mean, they say it like, okay, so the government, they have a connection to uh, kill the Jamal Khashoggi. Mm -hmm. So it shows like, even also they say, they specifically ma mention the name of the mm -hmm. Saudi Arabia, um, you know, Prince, Crown mm -hmm. Prince, uh, Mohammed bin Salman, he, he actually ordered to kill uh, or to murder the Jamal Khashoggi. So this is the actual fact like what the united nations said that it's so all Saudi officials knows about this and they kill this and you know this according to even international law even the Saudi arabian law is totally um, against the law it's total injustice what happened with the uh, jamal khashoggi and uh, that's what actually united nations said and they said like they they will uh, they just uh, make investigation and they find this like okay there is a there is uh, so many top officials of Saudi Arabia have involved with this murder. Mm. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. So Islam, uh, like we seeing now by this video, is like uh, actually it's a meeting for uh, an organization. So I'm wondering about uh, what's the effect of the, its organization in America. Uh, actually, those organizations, they are the rights group, uh, they are talking about the Muslim ban, you know, this uh, is almost one year what mm -hmm. the Dr Trump administration take decision mm -hmm. against uh, Muslims mm -hmm. and uh, some Muslim countries, you know, including like Somalia, Sudan, and uh, almost seven, seven like Iran, mm -hmm. uh, Iraq, Syria, like seven Muslim countries. They said like those countries, people, uh, citizens cannot come in US. So they said like this kind of uh, Muslim ban 
has huge impacts on the families muslim families you know uh, now nowadays like um, if uh, any students went to go for a high study in usa um, if they come back for example if he is a citizen of iran or if he is a citizen of um, somalia if he back to his country that he cannot go back again to U.S. even if he has a legal resident permit because this mm -hmm. U.S. administration or Trump administration make a Ill, uh, uh, like a ban for mo this country's citizen so whatever if you have a legal um, documents you cannot move again to the uh, U.S. this kind of uh, and what this kind of rights group said even the those kind of decision it has a huge impact on also families you know like some families they cannot now back to their countries like the um, Sudan's or like those serious or those fa family who are living in US they cannot back to their country because uh, if they back they cannot go again to the country even other if what we see like you know uh, that's what we talk uh, with our um, mm -hmm. uh, some news from yes. the post like some people immigrants or ir irregular immigrants are dying in border of uh, USA so all kind of things is uh, like they have it has a really huge impact on the family bondings because that were because if they make this kind of ban the one part or one member of the family cannot go back to their country cannot meet with their family who are living in their country i mean in mm -hmm. banned country so that's the issue the rice group try to focus the trump administration what they did is really bad things for the history of the us thank you so much You're welcome Thank you to be with us today. Thank you for your attention. Our weekly news today is finished. I hope that you always follow us always on Natural TV, Ankara Turkey, living the actuality of the whole world. Salam.